Well, good morning. I started on a little project here in the shop because I don't have any toes going on this morning. And then I figured I might as well film it. So this was, let me find, this was right here like this. And then the dollies mount right here, as you saw on plenty of other videos. And a little clip goes through here and holds this to the dolly. Well, that little clip can be a pain sometimes. Actually, here's one of them right here. So I was thinking about how to make this just super easy. Pop the dollies in, quick little pin, pop the dollies out, and save a bunch of time on the side of the road or while I'm unloading or anything like that. Or anything just to make it easier, really, because I'm lazy. So I got some little latches here from the hardware store. I'm thinking if I put them right here like this, that pin will go down over the top of the dolly, pull the pin back, dolly comes out, but this stays. So that was a horrible example of what to do. Anyway, then pop the dolly back in, pin drops down, dolly's locked in place. So we're gonna see if we can make that work. And if not, we'll cut all this apart and we'll make something else work. All right, what I didn't show you, because I started doing this before I even thought to film it, is these pieces right here, just a little chain link clip. I cut off with the cutoff wheel of the grinder. So now we're gonna switch to the normal hard grinding wheel and grind this leftover down smooth and then see if we can figure out how to mount those latches. All right, so we got the leftover from those little chain links ground off, and now we're gonna take these pieces, and they're gonna need to sit right here so that when you flip this up, that goes down, and now that dolly frame is locked in place right there. Then you just flip them up, and it's unlocked, and you can pull them out. So I'm thinking just take a piece of angle iron, weld to this, stick out right here, Weld this to the top of the angle iron, and we're pretty much done. So let's uh, find a piece and cut it up. So there's an old saying, and it goes, fastest way to make the phone ring, take the truck apart. So I just cut off the mounts for the dollies, and uh, phone ring. I got to go, like, now. So I'm going to throw the dollies back in there. Uh, maybe just put a bungee strap over them or something like that. They'll they'll stay. And then uh, we gotta go pick up a car. So let's go do that. Then we'll get back to this when we're done. So we are on our way to pick up a Mazda X3, I don't know, something with a three in it. Uh, it's a junk car that we're just gonna pick up and haul away for the guy. I guess he bought it for like 50 bucks or something and he's gonna fix it up or do something with it. But he lives in an apartment complex and they told him he had to get it out of there. Supposedly they gave a good bit of time and today they told him it goes or you go. So we're going over there to get it out of there for him. And then we'll just haul it back to our yard and uh, I guess we'll part it out. See if we can make a little money off it. So we're on our way to get that. We'll figure out what exactly we're getting when we get there. All right, we are here. Now we just get to see where this car is. There's a little Mazda. There's another one up there. Let's call this guy and see where he's at. Figure out which one. Well, I guess this is it. Flat tires. Sweet paint job. That's okay. Well, Throw it on the dollies and, and drag it home. Shoot, we'll fix it up. This would be our little parts runner car. All right, we've got our prize picked up. There she is. Yeah, this was a case of um, he bought it, thought he'd get it running and fix it all up, and months and months later, he still hadn't been able to do anything with it, and the manager finally had enough. And just a tip, if you ever have a junk car that doesn't run that you want to park in an apartment complex and 
not draw any attention. Probably don't park it right, right in front of the manager's office would be a good idea, but that's where it was. We got it out of here now. Take it back to the house and figure out what we're gonna do with it. All right, we are back here. The house, parked this thing next to the other junk rig. That's not really, well it is junk, but this one does run and drive and all that, everything works. It's just an old beater. I bought it uh, for super cheap because this one has the exact same engine. It's the exact same year, has the same transfer case, transmission, everything is in my good off-road recovery Jeep. So I bought it for real cheap because if I ever need to part real quick like an alternator or belt pulley or power steering pump or something, and I got to go to recovery or anything like that, the part is right here. I can just grab it, throw it on the other Jeep and go, everything transfers across. So this just sits here as basically my part store for my good Jeep. This on the other hand, I have no idea what the hell I'm going to do with it. Let's look underneath, it's got, oh yeah, got the whole exhaust under it still, which is good. All the engine parts. Doesn't look like it was stripped of anything. Um, let's see what's under the hood. Where are you at? There you are. I don't know if it runs. I don't know if it drives, but it has a battery in it. Huh. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's get it unhooked. All right, we got it on the ground, so we're gonna head back down to the shop and keep working on the tow truck project. And then figure out what we're gonna do with this car. Maybe I'll keep you guys updated what I end up doing with it. Maybe cut the cat off, recycle it, scrap out the car for parts and get rid of it. Or if one of you wants a super sweet 1992 Mazda, um, what the MX3 even got the title for it? Hit me up in the comments. I'll make you a super sweet deal. Okay, we are back in the shop after that little excursion. Uh, I got a free car out of the deal, so I guess that's all right. Uh, back to our latches. I've got a piece of angle iron here that we're going to take our latch and just set on. We have enough room to weld on each side. Mark it with the marquee end there and then mark it again there and now we'll take it over to the bandsaw one of my favorite tools ever and uh, cut a couple slices out of this okay then we hit the switch what the hell oh i remember we got to turn the breakers back on and that one oh and uh just go ahead and ignore the breaker panel with this giant hole in it right next to the water faucet. We're, uh, we're just not gonna worry about that for now. Back to what we were doing. Turn it on, open the feeder, coolant coming out. This will go on through, chop us off one little piece and once it does, this will hit the switch and shut it off. Are you ready? There it is, just like that. So now we close our valve, don't lift it by that because it bends. Loosen it up. Slide this up to the next mark. Tighten our clamp. Open the valve. Turn it on and that can do its thing while we take this up here and kind of mock up. It's going to go like that there. Put the latch on top. Weld it, weld it all together and we're done. It's that simple. There we go, that's two of them. So we're gonna use these dolly frames here that don't have the tires on them. This is another set I have. Just makes it easier to lift on and on and on and off a hundred times while we mock all this up. So what we gotta do is make sure this idea is gonna work. This will sit here. This will sit on top of it. That goes down and we'll lock it in place. It can't come out of there with that pin. Then when we're ready to go, pin goes up, it comes out. Sound good? Sounds good to me. OK, 
Okay, so I've marked the edges of where this little tab is going to sit and then ground off the paint in those spots, did it on both sides so we get a decent weld. We should probably clean up all this and grind it all nice too, but we're not going to worry about that because I don't want to worry about that right now. So now I can fire up the welder, I'm going to get this welded on and go from there. Okay, these are welded on. Let's see if they work. Perfect. It's really hot. Okay, this one is on too and simple. I should do it. Is it gonna work? It's gonna work great. Austin stopped by because he thought I was making too much progress. <laughs> Gotta hold it back a little bit. Can't be getting too much done over here. Okay, let's paint it and call it good. Looks factory, huh? Factory. Factory. <laughs>